Yarn6, welcome back to the channel. We definitely appreciate you guys watching. So a lot of you guys have been asking the question of why. Why the military is not allowed to carry a gun inside the base? I mean, they do training. They have training, you know. A lot of guys do, you know, uh, handgun qualifications. I, I shot the pistol many times. I shot Esper, you know, four or five times in my Marine Corps career. Shot the rifle many times. Esper, you know, four or five times, six, who, who knows? I don't even remember. Many times in my Marine Corps career. But, however, they don't allow you to carry a gun inside the base. You know, again, in combat, I carry an M4. At one time, I had an M4 with a 203. I carry grenades. I carry AT4. I had a machine gun on top of my truck. I had a million dollars in equipment. But when it comes to going into the base, I have to be disarmed. You know, if I have an appointment and I have to go to the base, I cannot bring my gun with me. So, again... We see active shooter situations going on in a lot of different bases. We see active shooter situations going on in recruiting stations where four Marines lose, uh, lose their life. I mean, we see horrible crime and there is no concealed carry, carrier, law abiding citizen there to do anything. By the time the police show up, I gotta tell you, by the time the police show up, four or five guys got killed and it's just a sad situation. So why is the military not allowing us to carry a gun. All right, guys, so I'm going to tell you why, and this is my opinion. This is definitely not a Marine Corps opinion. This is my, check it out, guys. My wife just got me this. This is pretty cool. But anyways, here's my opinion why. And, and essentially, it, it's going to be pretty simple. Uh, it's, essentially, it's going to be two reasons why. And the first one is going to be plain simple. They don't trust us. I mean, they just don't trust the military to do the right thing. They don't trust uh, the military to be able to do the right thing uh, when it comes to that situation. They, they, they're just not going to do it. You know, the base is not a combat zone. The base is, is a place where it's a lot of civilians, a lot of people doing uh, groceries, you know, uh, daycares, all that stuff. Now, you know, that, that makes it that makes it a place where, where bad guys could, could attack and, and they just don't trust the military to do the right thing. If they would trust us, they would allow us to carry a gun. All right guys, so the second one is gonna be simple, and they're taking a risk. And what I'm trying to say is simple. As a commander, as a prepper, as a concealed carrier, you're always gonna take a risk. There's always gonna be something that you're risking in some kind of way. So here's the deal, I'm gonna give you a prime example. If you carry a revolver, which I've done, my revolver carries six rounds. So I got six rounds. Now. By doing that, I may bring some extra ammo. Let's say I bring six more rounds and uh, you know a speed loader. So I got 12 rounds. So by doing that, I'm taking a risk. Yes, I understand that you know well, the basic confrontation may be two to three rounds, whatever it is, the stats, I'm not sure. But I'm taking a risk by taking 12 rounds. Why am I why I'm not bringing my Glock 17 that carries 17 plus one with a spare mag? That would be over 30 rounds because I'm taking a risk. I'm risking that. And that's what the military is doing. The military is, not, the military is looking at an active shooter situation and the possibility of somebody coming into the base and attacking the base versus actually a military member doing something bad. The military, and when I say military member doing something bad, I mean somebody that has PTSD and flips out and starts shooting up people. I mean, you know, basic unsafe procedures where somebody shoots himself. And I give you a prime example. Last year, a Marine, MP, military police, at a gate, you know, accidentally shot another Marine in the head and killed him. I mean, accidentally, just, you know, took a support. Supposedly, he took his rifle off, took his rifle off, and shot the guy I believe was in the head. Again, the guy got 24 months, 24 months to three years, something like that. He pleaded guilty and that's what he got. So now he's in the jail serving time. So again, the military is taking a risk. They're seeing this threat, active shooter situation, and they're developing uh, tactics and techniques to address that as a military policeman. And then they see the chances of you carrying a gun and the chances of you flipping out and killing people or you actually killing somebody accidentally. So when they get those two things and they wear, essentially 
this, you know, you having an accident and killing somebody, you flipping out and killing people, is higher than an active shooting situation coming into the base, and that is why they're not allowing military members to carry a gun. I hope that makes sense, guys. Let me know what you think down in the comments, as always. If you appreciate this video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, share the videos, and God is in control.